I turned the ASUS ROG Ally X into a Steam Deck and it proves Windows 11 kills power and battery life. A lot of people are installing SteamOS or at least a version of SteamOS on their ROG Ally X and they're really liking it over Windows. Let's get into it, I'm Blaze2K. Okay. This video was brought to you guys by you guys. If you want to click join and become a member, you'll get your name on this list. If you don't want to, or you can't, or you just don't want to, consider hitting like, subscribe, click the bell icon. You'll be supporting the channel everything I do and helping me make better content. And also helping me host a bunch of cool members events like members mukbangs, members movie night, and a bunch of cool little things. And get access to a bunch of cool perks too. Anyhow, onto the news. So I saw this on Tom's Guide. I turned my Asus ROG Ally X into a Steam Deck and it proves what we all knew, that, I, that Windows 11 kills power battery life and in some cases if you install linux you'll get better performance in a lot of games as well which is crazy right so windows 11 is nowhere or should be nowhere near a gaming handheld and we've got the numbers to prove it now i'm not going to be too hard on windows yes is it a touch optimized operating system on a handheld no far from it are windows potentially making their, our microsoft or xbox planning on making their own handheld with their own windows overlay and improving windows in the process for handheld gaming devices potentially so i'm not going to hold out and i'm not going to be too harsh on windows windows is perfectly usable if you have an rog ally x you know the armory crate or the legion go legion space works pretty respectably well all right and being able to hook it up and use it as a full-fledged desktop system at, you know and then run Windows is pretty darn cool. Not that you can't do that on the Steam Deck, obviously with Steam Decks, Steam OS, with the desktop mode, you can do that also. But there's something nice about Windows, you know? I'm not gonna trash it too hard. But he basically, he's installed a version of Linux onto his Steam, onto his ROG Ally X, and he's basically saying the performance is like night and day. So let's read what he has to say. So he says, you may have spotted the news about the ROG, or sorry, about Valve quietly updating Steam OS to support, um, the ROG Ally X with the back button support. This has quickly evolved from just a small update note to confirmation that the company will support this Windows 11 gaming handheld with its own handheld operating system, AKA SteamOS, right? It's coming soon. And based on my own testing, it can't come soon enough. Yes, I got impatient and decided to use a custom Linux image to get Steam Deck's, op Steam Deck's operating system onto my ROG Ally X. And I was floored, floored by the night and day difference in performance and battery life. In fact, I'm so shocked that it's confirmed what I've already known all along that this whole running windows thing is just not the right thing for gamers on the go at least for now and i knew the key benefit you're not just going to be limited you're not just limited to steam for games and you get the freedom of choice so basically he's saying i know the key benefit of running windows on this handheld right you're not limited to steam for games you get the freedom of choice between any launcher epic and gog not that anybody in the world with with a sane mind likes it, installing 10 launchers on windows right nobody likes it but he basically says um but even then it's worth it is it is windows um but is that even worth it, Windows, that is, with all the trade-offs we're seeing? Is it worth it for a 15% drop in frames and 22% reduction in battery life? Is it worth running Windows? For portable gaming, we've been seeing that Windows 11 is a problem. Our own exclusive testing proves that to be the case. Setup is a pain. So he's go going through the setup process. He's not giving us a how-to guide, basically. But he's basically saying, you know, after five hours of nearly pulling his hair out, he did eventually get the deal bit solution to work. And so for all that crap talking, the writer here in Tom's Guide was was putting out about how bad windows is he's still choosing to dual boot um this version of steam os alongside windows so he's not giving up windows entirely um which i don't blame him i used to steam deck i used to dual boot on my steam deck i'm planning on doing it soon now that the windows drivers are available on the steam deck oled i've been meaning to set, a time, set aside time to do that and i can't wait it's nice being able to like just run obs and literally stream to youtube stream gameplay to youtube whilst i'm playing a game the steam deck and rog ally x is more than capable of that i was able to play call of duty on my old rog ally while streaming it to youtube i've actually got the old streams um up on the channel if you want to go back if you become a member and go through my members only videos down the live streams you'll find a stream where i actually streamed off of the rog ally x and i believe that i neo two as well um and i believe i might have tried the steam deck i'm not i'm not sure yet but i'm going to give it a shot when i do get this still booted again i'm going to try and stream st straight to youtube so consider becoming a member and supporting that sort of content it'd be really cool anyhow be warned the steps are not necessarily going to work 100 percent of the time um he basically installs bazite which is basically an offshoot of steam os and he is working on a how-to guide but there's a bunch of great how-to guides how to install bazite 
you know on your on your ROG Ally X alongside Windows already on YouTube. So go search them if you're really impatient. But if you ask me, if you're excited about installing SteamOS on your ROG Ally X, just wait. Just wait till the new SteamOS update comes out. Allow Steam to do the guide for you, make it easier. Install official SteamOS on your ROG Ally X. It's going to be the best supported. It's going to be the least troublesome, and it's just going to be the least headache, right? So I would just wait for SteamOS to. To release the official version instead of doing all these offshoot versions but he says be warned these steps are not necessarily going to work 100 percent of the time and he talks through all the issues that he's had because he's not a linux expert he's not done this before he's had to basically he basically went through the whole process it wouldn't install properly so he had to literally manually wipe his whole ssd and redo it again just to get it to use to get it to work sorry but he says it's a joy to use it but you already knew that so i mean it don't get me wrong I do like the thought of running SteamOS on my ROG Ally X, but in, in reality, you could technically just launch Steam into big picture mode and still get a similar-ish performance, right? Granted, it's not 100% the same. Granted, it's not got the hardware tie-ins that a lot of the stuff like the SteamOS does and Bazai does, but it's still close enough in terms of user experience, for me at least, for me. But obviously, with Bazai and with SteamOS on the ROG Ally X, you're gonna get, you know, the Proton updates, you're gonna get better performance, performance that's tailored for the ROG Ally X hardware, that's gonna eke every inch, every centimeter, every millimeter performance out that bad boy, um, and also give you better battery life to boot, right? Um, because that's these are the sorts of optimizations that they do on Linux on the regular. It's not a bloated operating system for 10,000 other things like Windows is, right? It's more refined, it's more just dedicated to gaming and only gaming and maybe doing a little bit on the side. Gaming's the focus though. So it gives you better battery life, it gives you better performance, and it gives you more customization, frankly, in terms of your hard on the hardware level, um, in terms of clock speeds and FSR and stuff, straight from like the menus, right? The SteamOS interface, which I think is fantastic. So he says, let's be honest, my whole using a Windows gaming handheld situation is a bit of a mess. My colleague, Tony Polanco, Polanco said it best when he said it absolutely sucks now to Asus's credit the team has worked hard to put a mask over it in the form of armory crate and i went over that i think Asus have done a great job lenovo's done a great job with the armory crate with you know with the lenovo legion space i think that it, like in terms of putting an overlay on windows to make it feel more like the steam deck to make it feel like more of a console touch-based operating system experience They've done a fantastic job and it's only improved over time. Um, I've not really got any complaints. So most of the things I want to do, I can do with the Armored Crate Overlay, but I'm not going to lie. It is a little bit messy. There are sometimes bugs. Um, I don't typically launch my games from the Armored Crate, although sometimes I do, sometimes I do, but I, I just prefer going into desktop mode and just like manually going on the desktop and tapping an icon or opening up Steam. Um, so that's just me. Anyhow, um, he says, with easy access to all the water system settings, such as altering the thermal design power, TDP wattage, going to the chipset, even upping the amount of RAM dedica dedicated to graphics, customization is a cinch. And on top of that, there's a nice looking centralized game launcher. That means you can easily jump into any installed game already on there. Um, and on top of that, Oh yeah, sorry, but that's the problem. You still need to interact with Windows 11, and on a 7-inch touchscreen, it's a hassle to say the least. Trying to stuff a desktop OS onto a tiny device does throw up some insurmountable UI challenges alongside some bigger strategic questions. Example, who the hell wants an off a free Office 365, a year of free Office 365 on a gaming handheld? That's very true, but who knows? Maybe some people are buying the ROG Ally X you know, to do work on, to do spreadsheets, Word documents. There's a lot of college students out there, and you're maybe one of them, who are looking for a hand gaming device that can you know run your office apps run your you know programs that you use for you know microsoft word excel um just all this at photoshop perhaps you know on a handheld that you could hook up to a little portable monitor or maybe even just set up the steam deck with a, a little stand and a mouse on the keyboard and maybe you know just go to go to town go to work on your steam deck or your rog ally x so there's a lot of people that you know that is their use case so there's no harm in getting a free you know one year office 365 why not steam os just gives you all of what you need in its simplest form a system customization a game library a game store you can in interact with um in the system no desktop mode needed and all in all, all in a super slick easy to use interface that is the product of years of iteration better by the numbers but of course it's going to be a better ui experience for the players one aspect i did not expect is just how much faster and power efficient the rog ally x is when running steam os literally it's an improvement in every single area so let's take a look at the chart that he's posted up here again credits to tom's guide um let me go up to the author here credit 
to Jason England for publishing this and going through the grind in terms of getting all these performance metrics. Let's take a look. So this is how Windows stacks up to SteamOS on the ROG Ally X. So Cyberpunk 2077. 1080p medium preset with AMD FSR, performance 15 to 17 watt. So on Windows 11, on the Ally X, he's getting 36 frames a second. On the ROG Ally X on SteamOS, 42 FPS. Tetris Effect, hardly a bunker-breaking title, right? That's going to really push it. 1080p medium, 120% scaling, silent mode, 13 watt. He's getting 46 FPS on Windows 11, 61 on SteamOS. Forza Horizon 5, 1080p high preset with AMD FSR, turbo mode, 25 to 30 watts. He's getting 53 FPS on Windows 11 and 59 FPS on SteamOS. Now, you might be thinking, okay, those are just a couple of frames, but believe me, a couple of frames can matter and make a big difference when you're playing games, especially high-intensity games, fast games, fast action pass games like Forza Horizon, Cyber, uh, maybe not Cyberpunk, but Forza Horizon, maybe FPS games. You know, a couple of frames are different. A couple of frames can make a huge difference. I'm very sensitive to that sort of stuff. Let me know if you are too in the comments. But that is a big jump in frame rate across these three, three games, which unfolded exactly the same for every other game he threw at it. Persona 5, Dave the Diver, Hitman 3, F124. Oh, and for those keeping score, the gains over Steam Deck OLED are monumental. He says Cyberpunk, so 720, um, so here we go, um, ROG Ally X, so yeah, wow. Okay, so Cyberpunk 2077, 720p Steam Deck preset on the ROG Ally X with SteamOS, he's getting 48.1 FPS on the Ally X on SteamOS, and on Steam Deck OLED with native SteamOS, he's only getting 29.9 frames, let's just call it 30. Dirt 5, 720p medium, he's getting 63 FPS on the Ally X with SteamOS, and he's getting 41 FPS on the Steam Deck OLED. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting old the little steam deck all is getting old it can't keep up anymore i mean that's a pretty big jump though in terms of like frame rate i'm a little bit bummed out that the rog ally x has that much of a performance jump on their steam deck oled that steam deck oled is my primary so i'm a little bit bummed but oh well come on valve release the steam deck too anyways gaming battery life so here is the meat and potatoes of this so cyberpunk 2077 1080p medium preset with amd fsr on performance mode 15 to 17 watt on windows 11 he's only getting two hours and 30 minutes on SteamOS on his ROG Ally, he's getting three hours. Tetris Effect, three hours, 12 minutes on Windows 11, three hours, 46 on SteamOS. Forza Horizon, one hour, 26, one hour, 44. So it's not monumental. It's not like 100% increase in battery life or 200% of the battery. It's it's a significant respectable jump in battery life, an extra 30 minutes in some cases. You know, I think 30 plus minutes. I mean, that is pretty pretty darn good um so yeah it's interesting let me know in the comment section oh let me take a look at this as well so standby drain so when rog ally x on windows 11 eight percent drain in six hours whereas on the on steam os on his ally x he's only getting two percent battery drain in six hours that's a six percent difference guys that is pretty significant um, so yeah, let me know in the comments section, are you excited? He basically says, there is so much true here for the ROG Ally X, but while there's still some drain with the SteamOS in the mix, it's nowhere near as bad, and with their official SteamOS release on the ROG Ally, I expect that to be even better. He says, I've seen a lot of talk about the PC gaming handheld war, how it's becoming a straight shootout between Windows options and the Steam Deck, but with the stark differences in not just the usability, but performance and battery life, this war is over before it's even begun. It may cause you to pull out your hair if you try and install Baz instead of the official release but it's worth it in terms of well for him at least um in terms of performance gains battery life gains standby drain gains and all that sort of stuff either microsoft makes a handheld version of windows that's actually logical to use i'm excited about that because they are potentially making a handheld gaming device um redmond never leaves the starting key in his hopes to take on valve that openness of choice is to install any service is a small niche to have that brings with it a ton of buyer's remorse that harms three key things that every handheld gamer needs. Performance, battery life, and a UI that just gets out of the way um, of your games. And with SteamOS officially being available soon for the ROG Ally, based on the test results we're seeing, you'd be mad if you didn't choose to take the red pill and breathe new life into your machine by turning it into a vastly more powerful Steam Deck. So this is a hot topic issue. Let me know in the comment section down below, are you gonna be one of the first to install SteamOS on your ROG Ally X? Is having Windows uh, 
a sticking point for you? Are you really needing access to all your different launchers? Are there certain games you play like Call of Duty Warzone, games with anti-cheat DRM that just isn't supported by Proton or SteamOS or Linux in general? Let me know in the comments, you know, if it was me, it's always nice to try the dark side, isn't it? I mean, dual boot. Once SteamOS comes out for the ROG Ally officially, I say get on YouTube, find a tutorial, get it done. Dual boot, Windows, 50% Windows, 50% SteamOS. See what you like, choose for yourself. And if you don't like the other half, delete it. Just stick to one operating system over the other. And if you do like it, dual boot, you know? So there we go. It's as simple as that. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm excited. I'm excited to see people running Steam West on their on their ROG Ally Xs. Um, it's not going to have touchpad support. I think a lot of Steam OS, you know, makes good use of the touchpads. That's one thing I wish they would be included. Even if it's just one touchpad on the ROG Ally X, that would be cool because it is going to be missing inputs. It's only got two back buttons as opposed to the four in the Steam Deck, right? Um, doesn't have the two touchpads. So that's yet to be seen. That remains to be seen how that how it's going to handle that in terms of the UI and operating system. It's, it's not going to have a Steam button, obviously. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. Let me know in the comments if you've already installed Bazai or anything. And then let me know if you're hyped. Anyways, guys, I'm Blaze2K. If you love handheld gaming and want more of it on your homepage, you already consider liking, and subscribing, and clicking the bell icon. And if you want to go that extra step further and help me make better, better content and funner content and better content in general, consider clicking join and getting your name on the left there amongst all these wonderful people. Become a legend today and support. <laughs> I really need it more than ever. Anyways, guys, love you. Peace out. Take care. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.